Yo, yo, what it do? It's your homie, King Davis the Great. Good vibes. Here to bring y'all a short video about PlayStation 5 rumors that's been floating around. Now, before I get into that, this video that you guys are currently watching as I talk to you is a concept trailer on what graphics may look like for the next gen systems. Now, if you ask me, if the graphics actually turn out looking like this, I think they're going to tap our pockets and they're going to tap them hard. About 650, 700. And with them looking like that, I'm going to keep it 100. I'll pay that 650, 700. Easy. No questions asked. Because them some damn good looking graphics. But I don't believe it. If those are the graphics, it'll probably be the, um, the cutscene. You know how they do the little dialogues and your, your characters are talking and like campaign and story modes. I think that the graphics would be like that for the cutscenes, not the actual in game. You know, the cutscene graphics always look 10 times better than the actual in game footage. But if it is the in game footage, man, that'd be amazing. So I just wanted to let you guys know that before I got into it. Now we're about to get into all these rumors that's been floating around. And one of the rumors that's going around is that uh, being that these games are actually massive and huge when it's time to, you know, download them, maybe about 60, 70 meg megabytes or whatever. Um, you know, they talking about coming out with a two terabyte SSD hard drive. And I think that's well needed. I mean, to me, hands down, that shouldn't even be a rumor. That should be actually what's getting ready, to, what they gonna do, because the games are so big. I think in a minute, the game's gonna go from being $65 to $75, and you're already paying that for you know certain editions, deluxe edition, this edition, somebody else edition, you're paying wild crazy bread. So they need to go ahead and do that. Uh, also, another rumor that's been going around which actually leaked not too long ago, about a week ago, uh, is this user interface that's been leaked, this here. And it's almost the same thing, it's nothing different. Um, it's been leaked on a website named Slash Leaks, but it's almost the same, different color. I don't know, I think it's the same one, somebody just playing around with us, getting us all hyped up. And with PlayStation being all quiet the way that they have been, you know, we out here grasping for any type of information to you know find out what's going on and uh playstation playing with my emotions and I'm, I'm i'm getting sick of it i don't know about you guys but i'm getting sick of it now as we all know they skipping e3 this year just like they skipped e3 last year and for you guys that don't know e3 is like a big convention where all game developers come and you know show off the upcoming games and show releases to different systems in the past that's what they used to do that was like the perfect stage to announce all the new things that these different game companies have but PlayStation is skipping it once again and the rumor is that sometime this month PlayStation is supposed to have an event called the PlayStation Experience. Now, everyone have different dates, so I'm not going to throw a date out here. All I know is it's supposed to be in February. Well, another rumor is that they may be holding this event in Sony Hall in New York City. It's their flagship store, being that they skipping E3. So they're going to have the PlayStation Experience there. And, you know, if they do, it makes sense because, you know, that is their store. So, I mean, that's the perfect place or one of the perfect places to do a PlayStation 5 announcement or unveil. And like I said, no one knows the date. It's all speculation. And this is what Sony doing to people. Sony is being so tight-lipped about everything to the point it's driving people mad. Everybody just coming up with ideas or when things supposed to happen and nobody knows nothing. So. I mean, it's smart on the marketing level, as far as I think, because it's just building up this level of anticipation by everybody. I mean, to the point, I'm damn near pulling out my dreads, you know, wanting to see what this system look like. And lately, we've been getting different leaks, like this leak I'm gonna show here. Now, here's leaked images of the PS5. Uh, not too long ago, Sony put in a patent of an image that looked like this and if this is the actual ps5 
I'm not feeling it. No, sir. Certainly try again, please. This is not cutting it. I don't like it. In the comments down below, you guys tell me what you think. I think they could have done a lot better with that design. Especially after seeing the Xbox Series X. Now, the last two pieces of information I have for you guys. First is the release date. And word on the streets is the release date is going to be October 30th, 2020. Now, that's not a bad day to release it. I think because you give parents you know a month and a half to purchase this system and have it ready for their kids during christmas you know if my kids want it you're gonna get one but you're getting one so when you wake up the only thing you're gonna see under the tree is one box i'm telling Santa to drop off one box that's all you get <laughs> and next is the price point now according to the sony chief financial advisor or financial officer he was saying at this point in time it's hard to come up with a price point because it's a balancing issue now what i take from that is it's a balancing issue because they're trying to get the price point to an area where it's good for both the company and the consumers now they don't want it too high to where you know they lose out on day one sales or first week sales because the price point is just too high and they don't want to lose out on their end if the price point too low and they end up taking a massive hit which they always do but they end up recouping on the back end later on down the line but i guess they trying to achieve a certain amount of financial success on it so you know they just trying to have that price point right down the middle so i could be wrong i don't know i don't know everything when it comes to that but if you guys know anything, please in the comments down below, let me know what you think. It's your boy, King Davis the Great. Good vibes. I'm out. One.